Hi guys, I really hope you're well. I just want to bring you into a flowing sequence. It's going to be very simple. Um, this can be done at any time of day and we'll see how it goes, maybe 20, 30 minutes on your mat, just free flowing. So let's just take the first few moments to connect with the breath. Come to lie down on your mat and you can have your legs extended, arms down by your sides, or if you prefer, you can have your legs bent, feet a little bit wider than the hips and you can just allow your knees to fall one against the other. So we're just gonna connect with the body, connect with your breath. Feel comfortable in your shoulders, neck and back of head. Notice how you're feeling this morning. So the all important body scan, bring your awareness into your feet, your ankles, your lower legs, your knees, your upper legs, your hips, your pelvis, your belly, your lower back, sides of your waist, your ribs, your chest, your heart, your mid upper back, your shoulders, your collarbones, your upper arms, your elbows, your forearms, your wrists, your hands. Back up the length of your arms into your neck, your head, your face. And just notice how you're feeling this morning. Notice any areas of your body that are feeling really great. And maybe notice any areas of your body that are feeling perhaps a little bit tight or tense. And as you tune into your breath, Soften into your inhale. Soften into your exhale. Soften into your belly. Soften into your jaw. Soften into your lower back. Let's take a couple more moments here. And then we're going to start to gather the knees in towards us. So crossing your ankles, squeezing your knees in towards your armpits. And we're just going to slowly start to rock from side to side. So we're just going to start to rub and massage the lower back, the tops of the glutes into the floor. And then we're going to uncross the ankles and we're going to circle into the knees. So you're going to take a few circles in one direction. And then you're going to take a few circles in the opposite direction. So we're just moving clockwise, anti-clockwise. And then let's bring the feet back down into the floor. I want you to lift your right foot and just place it gently onto the top of the left thigh. Take a moment here, just press your knee towards the front edge of your mat. And you can stay here if this is good for you. Otherwise, we're going to lift the left foot and you're going to interlace your fingers into the back of your leg. I want you to just notice the foot that's propped on your thigh and I want you to gently flex the foot. So the inner ankle stays open, this protects the knee and works a little bit more intensity into the hip space. Roll your shoulders back and down into the floor, connect with your in-breath and connect with your out-breath. Again, notice the stretch, notice where you're feeling it. Start to heel toe the left foot. So let's bring a little bit of movement into this. Flexing and pointing the foot. Do this a few times and then let's bring some ankle rotations. So as you flex the foot, start to turn the foot. Rolling, creating that awesome circular motion into the ankle joint. Take a few in one direction and a few in the opposite direction. And then we're going to unravel and unwind from this position. Bring the soles of your feet back down into the floor. I want you to reach your arms up towards the ceiling 
bring your shoulder blades down either side of you. So this might create a little bit more space between the hands. On your next inhale, I want you to reach your arms further into the space above you, lifting your shoulders. And on your exhale, lower them back down into the floor. Breathing in as you lift and breathing out as you lower. Again, noticing the movement, noticing any clicks or clacks each time you lower your shoulder blades down into the floor. See if you're creating a little bit more space between the hands. Let's do this a couple more times. Don't lift your head, keep your head placed down into the mat. Once more. And then as you next lower your shoulder blades down, bring your arms back down into the space either side of you. We're going to lift the left foot, you're going to place it on top of the right thigh. You can stay here, again pressing the left knee towards the front edge of the mat if that's good for you. Otherwise we're going to lift the right foot, interlace fingers and just take a moment here drawing your leg in towards you, breathe and notice. Keeping the foot gently flexed, the inside of the ankle open, protects the knee, brings a little bit more intensity into the hip space here. Couple more breaths. On your next exhale, release the right foot back down into the floor. Let's unwind the legs and then we're going to draw the knees in towards the armpits. You're going to kick your lower legs into the air and we're going to try and grab hold of the feet. So we're coming into happy baby pose here. Now you can either grab hold of the feet inside or outside edges or grab the backs of the legs if the, if the feet aren't accessible. Now the all important parts of our core stable in here are keeping the head and the shoulders into the floor and your lower back. If you notice, if you notice as you grab um, your feet, your head lifts, your lower back lifts away from the floor, feels super uncomfortable in the mid upper back, just lower yourself back down and grab the backs of the legs. Keep your core stable, the focus of your practice. Breathe here, you wanna breathe freely, in and out through the nose. Keep the jaw soft, let's bring some movement in here. Squeeze into the right foot, taking the knee closer down towards the floor. Come back up through centre, do the same the other side. Moving and easing from side to side. Keep your breath, moving in and out of the practice. Don't be at competition with yourself. Don't be at competition with your body, listen to your body. As you next draw the right knee down towards the floor, you're now gonna extend the left leg as much as you can. Now you can let go of that extended leg foot, might give you a little bit more space to find a full leg extension, or indeed if you have the mobility, keep hold of the foot. Change sides. Inhaling and exhaling, you can hold space for a couple of breaths. Just set your own pace. Do what best serves you. Don't let anybody ever tell you how quick or slow you should be moving. This is your opportunity to really tune in and listen. Be aware of your body. Be aware of what your breath is doing. Let's do this once more either side. Good, nice. And then we're just gonna hug the legs in towards us. So draw your knees in towards your chest. 
On your inhale, release slightly. On your exhale, squeeze. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Now, if this is good for you, then stay. Otherwise, as you next hug your legs in, on your next out breath, you're going to curl your nose up towards the tops of your knees. And on your inhale, you're going to slowly lower back down towards the floor. Breathing out as you curl. Breathing in as you lower. Let's do that twice more. Once more. Okay, so we're going to bring the feet back down. I want you to extend your left leg towards the bottom edge of your mat and you're going to cradle your right shin in towards you. On your exhale, squeeze thigh into belly, knee towards chest. On your inhale, release arms to extend. Exhale, squeeze. Breathing in, breathing out. Synchronize the movement of your body with your breath. So this is vinyasa yoga, the synchronicity of breath and movement. As you next draw your leg in, hold. If you're fine working like this, stay. Otherwise, on your next exhale, curl your nose up towards the top of your knee on your inhale, slowly lower all the way back down to the floor. Breathing out as you curl up. Breathing in as you lower. Exhaling. Inhaling. Let's do that once more. As you next bring your shoulders and head down into the mat, we're going to come into a twist. You're going to bring your left hand outside of your right knee. Roll all the way onto the left side of your body. Bring your right arm with you, like you're turning over in bed. So your palm is just resting in front of your chest. On your next inhale, reach into the top corner of your mat with your right arm. Take a moment here, breathe. Maybe turning your gaze gently, maybe rolling the chin from shoulder to shoulder. Just find what best serves you. Breathe and notice as you expand into the right side of your body. Expand into your ribs. On your next inhale, come all the way back to center. Just take a moment, again, hugging the legs in. And then we're going to bring the feet back down to the floor. Now we're going to repeat that the other side, extending your right foot to the bottom edge of the mat. You're going to cradle your left shin in towards you. Exhaling, thigh to belly, knee to chest. Inhale, release, arms to extend. Breathing out. Breathing in. Exhaling, inhaling, a couple more times. Now if this serves you best, then stay here, stay working like this. Otherwise, as you next draw your leg in, you're going to hold it there, maintain the squeeze, and on your next exhale, curl up. On your inhale, slowly release down. Breathing out. Breathing in, exhaling, inhaling. Do that once more. The 
Let's come into the twist the other side. Right hand outside the left knee. Roll all the way onto the right side of your body. Bring your left hand with you like you're turning in, in bed. So this should allow the right knee to come further down towards the floor. On your next inhale, reach with your left arm into the top corner of your mat, turning your chest. Any movements that you want to make into the head, into the neck as we expand and open into the left side of the body now. Breathe and notice. Listen to your body, listen to the response that your body is signaling to you. How does it feel? One more here. And then on your next inhale, we're going to roll onto our backs. We're going to start to rock up and down the spine. Now, if for any reason this movement isn't for you, you can just take a few moments on one side and then push yourself up to sit. Otherwise, we're rocking up and down the spine. You can use your hands either side of you for momentum. But again, we're coming into that playful edge here. So you want the movement to try to stay light and free and playful. Maybe your feet stay lifted away from the floor. Just notice. A couple more. Once more. So pushing yourself up to sit, come up. We're going to hug the legs in, dropping your forehead down towards the tops of your knees. Take a moment here. We're going to come into a half boat. So we're sitting just behind the sit bones, sitting just behind the sit bones. You're drawing your legs in towards you and see if you can lengthen through your spine. Draw your shoulders in line with your chest. You're lifting your heart. Extend the crown of your head up towards the ceiling. Now, if this is good for you, then stay here. Otherwise, you might want to challenge yourself and reach your arms forward. Hold, notice, and then let's drop it down. Let's come back, forehead towards the tops of the knees, breathing, rounding, take a break. We're going to set that up again when we're ready. So on your inhale, again, coming up. Squeeze the backs of the legs, extend, lift your heart. Maybe you stay here, maybe you stay holding the backs of the legs. Remember, you're sitting just behind your sit bones. Reaching the arms forwards, perhaps extra little bit of challenge. Lift your heart, breathe and notice. One more breath. And then again, let's take it back down, rounding through the spine, drop your forehead, take a moment. We're going to transition onto all fours. So as we transition onto all fours, tucking the toes under behind us, we're just going to take gentle rocks. So neutral spine, you're going to inhale, come forwards, exhale, sink your sit bones back towards your heels as you tuck your chin in towards your chest. Breathing in as you come forwards. Breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. As you next come forwards, just come into neutral position. We've got the toes tucked, we're going to lift the hips, we're going to come into downward facing dog. Only momentarily, so as your arms and legs come to fully extend, we're going to walk the hands back towards the feet. And we're just going to take a moment here, we're going to hang forward. So your knees stay soft, you're going to grab your elbows, drop your chin towards your chest, take a moment here, breathe into the back of your body. Breathe into the back of your body. Maybe gliding the chin from shoulder to shoulder, any little movements that you need to make. On your next exhale, we're going to release backs of hands into floor. So I want you to plant your palms onto your shins 
and you're going to bring your chest parallel to the floor. Your legs straighten up here, but try not to lock the knees out. So we want to create stable, healthy joints. Extend through the spine. You're using your arms like struts. Draw your belly in and up. Now we're going to not use our hands. Reach your arms out to the sides. Good. One more breath. And then on your next inhale, you're going to come all the way up to stand. And on your next exhale, you're going to lower your arms all the way down by your sides and just take a moment. Now I'm going to switch positions so I'm facing you. Take a moment here. I want you to press your palms together, centre of your chest. So as we press the palms, setting your intention for the rest of the practice. So as we set our intention for the practice, maybe for the day if you're doing this in the morning, or maybe for the evening if you're doing it later on. Just close your eyes, one word, perhaps something that you're focusing on, your samkalpa. One more breath. And then we're going to take that intention and just press it into our heart space. On your next inhale, reach your arms up towards the ceiling. Press your palms. On your next exhale, draw your hands all the way down through the centre of your body. Release, breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. Notice if you're locking your knee joints, slightly bent legs, breathing in, breathing out. Notice the contact of the soles of your feet into the floor, the tips of your toes the inside and the outside edge of the balls of your feet, the connection through your heels. Let's do this twice more. Clearing the space around you. Once more. Release your arms and just take a moment. So we're going to crisscross the arms. We're going to place our hands onto the tops of the shoulders. And I want you to bring your elbows about shoulder height. Again, just feel the position, the grounded through the soles of the feet. Just take a moment. Jostle, nestle through your legs. Okay, on your next inhale, I want you to extend through the spine. Lift your elbows a little bit higher, your chin, and on your exhale, drop your chin towards your chest. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Do that a couple more times, inhaling. Exhaling. One small, final time. Let's release now, shake that out. Move through the legs, walk through your feet. Come to the front edge of your mat. On your next inhale, we're going to sweep the arms all the way up, high arch. And on your exhale, dive down, flat back. Taking your hands down towards the floor. If you need to bend your legs to do that, then do that. Otherwise, extend through the legs. We're going to take a long step back with one foot and then the opposite foot. We're coming into plank position. So as you come into your plank, just notice your body's on that flat plane. Now it's really nice here to squeeze your heels towards the back edge of your mat. When we do that, we get a really nice stretch into the back line of the legs. Can you feel that? Good, okay. 
So slowly, if you need to lower down knees to the floor, please do that. Otherwise, we're gonna try and lower the body all the way down to the floor. On your next exhale, maybe lower down, drawing your elbows in, body on a flat plane, or maybe your knees come to the floor to support you. Take a moment. We're gonna bring the arms down by our sides. Just rest your forehead into the, into the floor, into your mat momentarily. And then on your next inhale, I want you to slowly start to lift your head and your chest away from the floor. Reach your arms up, rotate your palms out to the side so your thumb tips face up towards the ceiling. Hold here, breathe. Don't hold your breath. Bring your breath into your diaphragm, into the epicenter. Notice, when you need to release down, you're gonna slowly lower, stacking palms, bending legs, and just windscreen wiper from side to side. So we're just easing into the hips. So we're gonna set that up once more. Again, bringing the arms down by your sides, bringing your forehead down. Your legs are active. So your kneecaps are lifting away from the floor. Your quads are lifting gently up above your knees. Push the front of your pelvis into the floor on your inhale. Lift your forehead, lift your chest. Lift your hands. Rotate your palms out to the sides. Lift your thumb tips. Keep the tops of your feet pressing down into the floor. Don't lift your feet. Breathe. See if you can hold for one more breath. And then slowly lower back down. Now we're gonna press the hands underneath the shoulders and take ourselves back into a child's pose. So resting your arms down by your sides and just take a moment here, allowing the tops of the shoulders to curl around the sides of the face and breathe into the back of your body. Breathe into your back ribs. On your next inhale, we're gonna slowly curl up. Your arms and your head are heavy. We're gonna come back onto all fours. Come back onto all fours. Knees underneath the hips. You're gonna tuck your toes under behind you. We're gonna relift into our downward facing dog. So as you squeeze your heels towards the floor, now a good check in downward facing dog is to come back into plank and as you come back into plank you're bringing your shoulders over your wrists now I can see here that my hands are a little bit too far back so I'm going to walk them forward this brings me more onto that flat plane and then once we've found our most efficient plank we can relift back into downward facing dog and this brings us into more of an efficient back body stretch. So you don't have to have your heels to the floor. And in fact, many of us will have our heels lifted way away from the floor. If we're restricted in the back line of the body, which most of us are, pesky hamstrings, a really nice self-adjustment here is to roll onto the balls of the feet and bend the legs. Your knees are tracking in line with your toes and it feels a little bit like you're pressing your lower ribs onto the tops of the thighs. And this brings a really nice stretch into the lumbar spine, extension into the lumbar spine. So you can hold here if this is good. Otherwise, maybe from here, keeping that extension into the lower back, extending the legs and hold here. Your shoulders are moving down away from your ears. We use this as a rest pose, but it's challenging, especially when we hold it. Tilting your sit bones up, take one more breath. And then slowly we're gonna bring the right leg as far as we can in towards us. So we're just gonna come into a low lunge. So lower your rear knee towards the floor. You want your ankles stacked underneath your knee. And then on your inhale, we're gonna reach the arms up. 
So breathe here and notice. Take time, give yourself plenty of space between the arms. So if you feel tight in the shoulders, give yourself more space. Let's take one more breath. On your next exhale, we're gonna lower the hands back down towards the floor, tuck your back toes under, prepares us to come back into plank. Good, back into plank and then back into downward facing dog. Hold here for a few moments, spreading your fingers into the floor, root down through the knuckle of the first finger, the heel of the thumb, hold, breathe into any areas of restriction, tension or tightness. Remember, you can bend your legs if you need to. On your next inhale, we're now gonna travel the left foot forwards. Land as lightly as you can. Bring the rear knee to the floor. Low lunge the other side. Take time here, breathe and notice. Lifting your arms up. Give yourself space. Plenty of space, breathe. Take one more here. And then slowly on your next exhale, lower the hands down, prepping us once more as we tuck the toes under to come back into our plank position. Once you're there, again, relift the hips, the sit bones coming back into downward facing dog. Good, okay, so let's lower the knees to the floor. Bring your wrists back underneath your shoulders. Just take a moment, untuck your toes. Let's take some cat-cow. So you're gonna inhale, lift the chest, tilt the pelvis, bend into the arms if you need to. On your exhale, round your spine. Let's take a few of these. Moving gently, tuning into the breath, sinking up the breath and the movement. One more. And then we're going to release out, come into neutral. Okay, so we're going to come to sit. And I just want to take a few moments here. So we're going to come into a seated position. Again, just recentering, noticing how you feel after that flowing practice. Come back into the space of the breath. Sometimes it's really nice to Place hand onto belly, one hand onto chest, coming into our centre. Notice the connection of your sit bones into the floor, the crown of your head extending. So again, the polarities, the earth and the ether, extension through the spine, any movements that you want to make into the shoulders or the head, the neck. So don't always feel like we have to be static. We're really tuning into the subtleties and the movement of the practice, which I will develop with you over the coming weeks and months. Notice how you feel. Come back into the intention that you set. Come back into the intention that you set. And then we're gonna give that intention up to the universe. Give it up to spirit. Gently opening your eyes when you're ready, pressing your hands together, giving thanks to our bodies, the vessels that carry us through this life. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that. Please do feel free to comment below this video. If you know anybody that you think would like to join us on this space or in this space, then please feel free to share these videos and also do subscribe if you haven't already. That then alerts you to the new video content when I put it up on a weekly basis. I look forward to hearing from you and have a great day. Namaste.